Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next to. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD for Monday. If you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, this is the four hour chart of gold USD in front of us. And as you can clearly see, the market is being severely hunted by the sellers. This market is being dominated by sellers and market close below 1850. Market close at 1848.82. And this is the last traded price. Yesterday, we were looking for selling opportunities and both the selling opportunities did a pretty decent job. We had a sell opportunity below 1857.50 and our sell stop worked nicely. Then we had a sell opportunity at retracement around 1873.74 and we got our 40 pips. And hopefully you guys made money too. But right now we can see that market is still going down and still the market okay market is very much under the selling pressure so further selling is very much possible if you have a buy position on the chart of gold and you're still holding a buy position then my dear friend um you should try to protect your capital right now because yes at one point there may be a trend reversal but we don't know when the trend reversal will come the selling pressure on the chart of gold may continue for days continue for weeks continue for months nobody knows okay because it is not possible to predict the top and bottom of the market and that's a bitter reality and we can see the further downside is very much possible on the chart of gold so if you have a sell position okay then obviously enjoy the ride you are doing a great job okay just uh, do some party and all and if you're holding a buy position then my dear friend it's time to protect your capital try to exit from the uh, buy position whenever you'll see market going for a recovery because the recovery will not be a permanent one it will be a temporary one because for trend reversal always keep in mind that we need a news we need a fundamental factor unless we get a news okay trend reversal on the chart of gold is not possible so let's wait and watch and if you're a day trader like me then obviously you need to stick to levels level to level trading is the best solution here so let's discuss one by one so dollar falls slightly on lower bond yields and dovish us inflation news yesterday we saw some um, correction on the chart of us dollar but you can see the overall trend of us dollar index is still very much intact dxy and dxy took beautifully support around 105.70 and dxy bounce dxy ultimately closed at 106.17 this is the last traded price of dxy so the market opening will be very very important and looking at the present trend of the market and looking at the market sentiment obviously there is a high chance that dxy will try to continue the upside if dxy shows few red candles also keep in mind that will just be a temporary correction because the overall market sentiment is very much bullish for dxy so oh, you can expect that only until and unless or till next nfp the uptrend on dxy will continue because we don't have any major news that will bring us trend reversal on the chart so obviously there will be pressure on the chart of gold there will be pressure on the chart of euro usd gbp usd and others because dollar index is still very much bullish and if you look at the chart of gold okay then obviously things are not very positive okay <laughs> we are day traders especially traders who prefer to trade from level to level like me okay we have been doing a good job market has been very generous for us but those who have been holding buy position i can imagine how much pain you are in because i have been receiving countless emails and messages where you have been sharing your experiences and sadly the only solution is to exit and save your rest of the capital to understand the chart of gold better let's switch to the hourly time frame because you, uh, we don't get to see much volatility during the first half of monday isn't it so the major resistance on the chart of gold is still around 1885 level okay why major resistance because the trend of the market is still very much towards the downside if 100 traders have participated in this journey okay keep in mind 85 percent traders are on the sell side and only 15 percent are on the buy side and the major ones the market movers are on the sell side as a result the market is going down so if you want if you are looking for fresh position in a the market then obviously it should be towards sell side only 
because the market sentiment is still very much towards the downside and respecting the trend of the market we should be looking for sell positions only sell on rise sell on rise or sell at resistance is the best and the safest trading strategy in this type of market not only in gold market if you trade on stock market also okay sell on rise or sell at resistance is the best trading strategy whenever you see a market structure like this so right after the market opening if you see the market is going up okay observe the volatility of the market okay as we all know volatility always play a very important role okay so observe the volatility of the market if you see the market is very low volatile there is not much volume in the market but still market is going up you can observe the market around 1855 okay you can observe the market around 1855 because while drawing fibo from here we can see we have a very weak resistance very weak resistance around 1855 level okay so if the market is low volatile then only you can expect it to work otherwise it will not work okay <laughs> So around 1855, we have a very weak resistance. You can look for a quick selling opportunity for uh, 25 to 30 pips max, not more than that. But if you see that market is going up with small, small candles, there is little bit volume in the market, then forget about 1855, it will not work. Then you need to wait for 1860 level, 1860 to 1861. Because around 1860, 1861, we had a minor support previously. And we can see that apart from FIBO 38.2% retracement level, the previous support will also be acting as resistance around 1860 to 1861. So if market goes up, simply switch to 15 minutes time frame because confirmation on lower time frame will be better. Because if you wait for confirmation on one hour time frame, four hours time frame, then there's a high chance that you will miss the opportunity. So just go, just move to 15 minutes time frame, observe the market behavior. If you see the market is struggling, market is showing price rejection from above, you'll get a confirmation that sellers are present and you can hit the sell button. How much you can expect? On Monday market, you can expect around 35 to 40 pips. Okay, so 1855 is a very weak level. So chances are very less that it will work but yes 1860 seems to be a good level for monday to take a sell position so considering the trend of the market 1860 should work but yes no level is permanent in the market so wait for the confirmation okay and then we have the next resistance around 1870 then we have the next resistance 1870 1871 and the reason is you can see we have the 50 moving average coming down and if i draw fibo normally with the normal method you can see that we have FIBO 23.6% retracement level so combination of FIBO 23.6% retracement level plus 50 moving average makes 1869 1870 a good selling opportunity so on the chart of gold we have three selling opportunities for Monday first of all 1855 but it's a weak level so you can say okay that chances are very less okay but 1860-61 it seems to be a good level considering uh, the volatility of the market on monday and secondly we have 1870-1869 as this uh, next resistance so if market goes up and reverses we can look for a sell position and if you're already holding a sell position then voila you don't need to do anything enjoy the ride and if you're holding a buy try to exit around these levels and right after the market opening if you see that instead of going up market is going down yes the probability is very high then you can also look for a sell position below 1846 yesterday market made a low of 1847 so you can look for a sell position below 1846 and you can expect around 50 60 pips or you can be on the trade as well but you need to be a little bit careful because for breakout or breakdown we need volume and usually we don't get to see much volatility or volume in the first half of monday so it may also lead to a false breakout as well so if possible try to go with a small lot size if you see that right after the market opening market is going down so volatility will play a big role but yes further downside is very much possible and you can look for a sell below 1846 but with proper risk management and my dear friend if you are wondering about the support level then sadly we don't have any immediate support on the chart of gold okay you can if i take you to the daily chart also you can see that we don't have any immediate support on the chart of gold okay 1850 was the psychological resist support and it is gone right now you can see the next support technically it is around 1810 level 1810 1810 which is far away and if i draw fibo from the 
lowest point of the chart then i can see that around 18 around 1837 36 we have the fibo 50 percent retracement level but my dear friend we cannot deny that the market sentiment is very much bearish so in fibo uh, 50 percent retracement level or around 1835 to 1837 we can just expect a bounce we can just expect a temporary bounce of 50 60 pips not more than that because the market sentiment is above all if the market sentiment is bearish if the market sellers are pushing the market towards the downside obviously at one point market will break 1835 37 and take the market down so in this market condition support okay support okay support is secondary okay the primary thing that you need to focus is the market sentiment and right now market sentiment is bearish so as a result to be on the safer side taking a sell position be on the sell side is the best thing to do and if you're holding a buy position try to exit at retracement try to save your capital do not gamble and if the downside continues there is a possibility that around 1810 level we may get to see a trend reversal but as i said earlier that it is not possible to predict the tops and bottoms of the market after all we are retail traders we need to trade we need to work according to the market situation after all we don't decide the uh, tops and bottoms of the market my dear friends, if you are not happy with your current forex broker looking for a better option facing withdrawal and deposit issues, then GTC Global Trade Capital is the solution for you. For all these years, I have been looking for a forex broker who solve all the problem. And GTC may not be a very popular name like IC Market, 8Cap, Paperstone, but trust me guys, if we compare then GTC is the best solution for traders like you and me. There are many reasons you just go to the website and you'll find all the information. I do not want to explain here and bore you, but trust me guys, GTC is a regulated broker. You'll find all the information about the regulation and the best part is that your capital is also protected. You don't need to worry about broker running away with your hard earned money. Okay, you can see the compensation of fund is there. Personally, I like GTC because of few reasons number one reason is that they do not manipulate the market like other brokers probably you guys have uh, faced the problem that after taking a position or when you are holding a position sometimes at night you see that there's a sudden spike in the market and that happens because the broker hunt down the stop process sometimes we think or most of the time we think that we are retail traders we are trading against the institutions but in reality our broker is standing against us okay so in in gtc you don't face the problem it's a regulated broker you can see your capital is also covered their um, multilingual support and the best part is that you can trade at the time of news probably you have faced the problem of sleep is at the time of news your stop loss doesn't work at the time of news in gtc you will not face the problem and this is a big thing okay those who love to trade at the time of news they know what is the importance of sleepage <laughs> so my dear friends if you're looking for a solution then yes gtc is the best solution that we have uh, right now usually they provide a leverage of 1 is to 500 but if you open your account through my link my referral link then you will get a leverage of 1 is to 2000 and most importantly if you face any problem with a broker then you don't need to worry about the customer support because i'll be able to help you out okay because these brokers are offshore brokers they are located in different nations different countries so as a result if something happens also we are totally depend on the customer support so here you don't need to worry yes the customer support is very very good but apart from that i will also be able to help you out if you open your account through my referral the link is in the description trust me guys ctc is the best solution we have